welcome to the first edition of This Week in EMS ISD. I'm Claudia Ward. And I'm Marissa Maldonado. We are glad you joined us for our first episode. During the February 27th school board meeting, the EMS ISD school board approved the 2017-2018 academic calendar. The first day of classes for next school year will be August 21st, with the last day of school being June 1st. The calendar has two bad weather days built into the required number of instructional minutes set by the state. You can view and download the calendar on the district website. The EMS ISD Advanced Academics Department is hosting 12 mock exam opportunities for high school students in AP courses to prepare for upcoming exams. Up to two versions of each exam will be offered, as well as debriefing of all exams with their teachers for tutorial support to allow students to better meet their AP standards. Beginning March 4th and continuing through April 22nd, six mock exams will be held on Saturdays at Halfley Development Center, and six will be held on Monday nights at Students' Home Campus. In order to participate, you must RSVP at least one week in advance to reserve your test. Dinner will be provided for Monday night exam sessions only. For more information, please see the flyer given out by AP teachers. Now let's go to Jacob Keithley with some information about an award all three EMS high schools receive. Hello, this is Jacob here. I'm here at the Chisholm Trail High School tennis courts uh, with some pretty big news. Um, apparently, Saginaw, Boswell, and Chisholm Trail High School have all been awarded the Safe School Sports Award by the National Association of Training, of Athletic Training. This is a very big award because basically what it entails is if a program has a high caliber of um, sports training and safety. So a uh, very big award here. Um, we're all very proud of it. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later. In-district transfers are now open for the 2017-2018 school year. Transfers must be received by May 5th, 2017. Transfer students who attended and completed the 2016-2017 school year may continue to attend the same school as long as the parent and student reside in the district and meet all eligibility requirements. The district says all transfers will be given consideration based on campus enrollment and transportation is not guaranteed and may not be available. For more information on in-district transfers, visit the EMS ISD website. You know, the weather has been pretty nice lately. Let's go to Jacob with our weekly weather outlook. Hello, I'm Jacob Keithley. Monday will be partly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 57. Tuesday is partly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 55. Wednesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 57. Thursday has a 40% chance of AM showers with a high of 75 and a low of 60. Friday is at a 20% chance of showers with a high of 79 and a low of 61. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 60. Sun the Sunday has 20% chance of showers with a high of 80 and a low of 60. That's all the weather for this week. Back to you. That is all for this week's edition of This Week in EMS ISD. We're glad you joined us. We will be back in two weeks with more EMS ISD news. Have a great week.